CGIAR Research Program on Rice, Africa Rice Lowland Rice Breeder, Vina Prasad Ramaya, Africa Rice Lead, Flagship Project 5, New Rice Varieties. What is the vision for this flagship? How it will benefit Africa? Well, uh, ours is one of the flagship out of five, and we are focusing on having developing new new rice varieties to give better options to the farmers and consumers in Africa. Uh, who, so they are the direct beneficiaries, and given that uh, there is a lot of emphasis in Africa to expand rice production, so uh, the new varieties that we want to develop will catch them young so targeting will be easier because right now the area in Africa is smaller the number of rice farmers is also smaller but in the coming years it is bound to grow a lot so targeting them the new newcomers new farmers will help Africa much better and uh, climate change is another major topic you are maybe familiar it's affecting everywhere but Africa is more uh, affected with climate change so to give to cover to mitigate the risk of, of climate change they need to have better varieties so through this project we are aiming to generate some better project varieties so that the farmers are better protected against changes in climate so that is also one we are addressing here so mainly a lot of effort activities is growing on everywhere, you know, in the CG centers, advanced research institutes and different organizations. So this project gives us a means where you can connect to all of them and bring the latest technology and uh, techniques that they have to so that uh, African farmers and consumers are benefited. How different is the work in this flagship different from the Global Rice Science Partnership, GRISP? It actually, it is building on the success of the previous projects. No doubt. Actually, this is a continuation of the previous CRP. So, um, nothing drastically different. It's mainly building upon the success we have. But of course, few nitty gritties changes are also there. Um, uh, here now, each FP, each flagship, what we call, will work as individual project, unlike in the previous mode. So, this is this gives us better coherence and uh, between the group than before i think this is a, a better like good step in the right direction uh, as far as handling such a complex diverse uh, uh, project is concerned this is my opinion how is the prioritization going to be done by country or by ecology we work on all the three ecologies and uh, right now the priority there are some priority countries because of the budget limitation. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the kind of budget we were hoping earlier. So because of this budget cut, we have to target to few key countries. Some of the countries that are explicitly mentioned are Senegal, then uh, Tanzania, then um, I think Nigeria. These are the key countries mentioned. So if budget permits, if it's possible that we may get additional funding and it is possible that we expand to other countries also. But if the funding remains same, these are the countries we have to give first priority. It's, it's not restricted to these countries, but anything that is good can always spread to other regions. What are the expected outputs from this flagship? For Africa, in addition to having better varieties so that farmers are insured against better uh, you know, for the climate changes, um, one aspect will be capacity development, uh, more students and uh, trainees, NAS partners will be engaged and so that they are exposed to modern techniques that is, that is part of the planning. And uh, one other thing is in this project we have talked a lot of open access everything. So anything anybody develops in this project anywhere will be access to anybody in the world. So in that way, both Africa and others also benefited, even though they may not be directly working on this project. These are the ways I think it benefits additionally. For more information, visit www.africarice.org.